Hello there Capricorn and welcome to your weekly for the week of March 21st to the 27th. Please keep in mind that time is fluid and check your other chart placements out on my channel. If you're interested in winning a free reading with me Capricorn, all you have to do is subscribe and comment your name in the comment section down below. Capricorn, we are getting you a number for this week to see what number Spirit is highlighting for you. You may see this number on license plates, billboards, there's your number, social media, wherever you see digits. All right, your number just flew to where it would have gone after I pulled it, so we'll take this for you, and you come in with number four. I am stable. This card says you bring stability and rationality to any situation. You are the rock and your hard work and perseverance make you a dependable friend, partner, and colleague. Yeah, right up your alley there, Capricorn. You're coming in beautifully stable this week. You're feeling in the zone and you are not only being stable for yourself, but you're being stable at work. You're feeling stable with your money. And things may start coming back into balance for you here, or you're just feeling, you know, that sense of determination and feeling that sense of working towards what you're going for in a very, I want to say the word, reliable way. Like, you feel like you can do something, you can handle something, you can, you, you got it. Like, that's how you feel. Like, I got this sort of thing. So, let's see what Angel's with you for the week for Capricorn. And you have the Angel of Decisions, card number eight. Yeah, well, you're coming in with the angel, with the angel, with the energy of stability, and now you have decisions. So Capricorn, you are definitely very highlighted this week in all areas of your life. A lot of people may be asking for asking you to make decisions at work. You may be making decisions on how to do something, how to be something, how to go somewhere, what to do. If you have any ideas that come to your mind that can help your stability, definitely um, ponder on those ideas. You're definitely feeling a lot of creative energy and a lot of people are wanting your opinions on things, your advice on things. Maybe at work you're the decision maker or you're going to have to make big decisions in life. Um, let's see what we got going on else for you Capricorn but you do have an angel of decisions helping you this week so if you have been feeling very indecisive or just up in the air about certain things you're definitely feeling a lot more stable card number four stable so let's see what we got going on here and we have confidence yeah look at that your cards are beautifully synchronizing together by earth air water and fire let my confidence take light and burn higher yes so you are definitely shining a lot of people are seeing it as well that's why i feel like a lot of people are going to put you in the decision making um lead if that makes sense in certain situations so maybe some of you need to know that for the week um, so I'm just throwing that out there and letting you know, but you're really a lot more confident in your decisions this week. You're not second guessing yourself. You're not so indecisive. Maybe there are big decisions. Maybe there are just minimal ones or, you know, like I said, any ideas that come to your mind of things that you should do, ponder on them and definitely find that courage within to see what could happen. So let's see what we got going on. What's coming towards you for the week, Capricorn? We have the Five of Swords. We have the Seven of Cups. And we have the sun. There you go. So you have been very indecisive about something. For a lot of you, this could be indecisive about what car you want, what job you want, what hours you want to work, what friends you want to have, what plans you want to be, what vacations you want to go on. This could be around anything. This is a general reading. Um, what you want to do in your love life, um, how you want to open up to love, 
what do you want to do with friends? This is like indecision to the max that you've been feeling. But with the sun here, you're finding clarity and confidence in where you want to go now, where you want to head. A lot of you Capricorns, you know, there was a little bit of a trust issue within yourself. Maybe you didn't really trust that you made good decisions. Maybe you have made mistakes. Maybe you have done things that you wish you can go back and change. But now you're ready to do things differently. And you're ready to be more stern and decisive with the way you're doing things. And you're pondering on things more. You're thinking before you're acting. Or you're thinking before you're saying. You're thinking before you're deciding. Or maybe in the past you felt very impulsive. You're a lot more confident confident in your decision making process here this is a very general message capricorn clarify this spirit for capricorn for the week of the 21st to the 27th on the five of swords we have the star beautiful healing and hope restored you're not feeling as up in the air like what happens if i make the wrong decision or what happens if this, what happens if that, you're not feeling that stress any longer. You're feeling that sense of confidence and stability within yourself. Seven of cups, eight of cups. There it is. Walking away from the indecision, making a choice, figuring out what you want to do, pondering on your ideas, the sun to the seven of wands. Yeah. For a while you were hard on yourself, Capricorn, for whatever reason, why? Maybe you chose bad friends back in the day. Maybe you chose not the greatest lovers once before. Maybe you didn't hire the right people at certain times. You're coming to the realization that you can turn that all around. It's like you are not defined by your past, maybe not so great decisions or past mistakes, whatever the case may be. You can redefine yourself, but you have to get out of that. Um, Defining yourself by... Um, things that are, uh, energies that maybe didn't work out for you or didn't really go in your favor as well, as well as you wanted it to. So let's clarify this one more time. Things are really looking up here for you, Capricorn. Let's clarify this. And you're like realizing and like how hard you were on your, how hard you were on yourself and maybe coming to other realizations about like energies around you or things that maybe you could have done differently or wish you'd done differently. You're coming to the realization that either you still have a chance to do things differently or you will make better decisions as you move through life sort of thing. The star with the four of pentacles. Yeah. You are just like very, very like, no, I shouldn't have done that. Or no, I shouldn't have gave that person a chance. Or no, I should have never hung out with that friend. Or no, I shouldn't have let that person get close to me. Or no, I should have never hired that person. You're, you're, you're being a lot easier on yourself, as you should deserve to. Eight of Cups, the Six of Wands, there you go. Feeling a lot better. Feeling a lot seen, recognized. On the Seven of Wands, we have the Seven of Pentacles. Wow, so you have triple sevens here. So this has been like definitely a long time coming, this feeling, this being very hard on yourself sort of thing, but you're finally reaping a sense of reward here, Capricorn. You're feeling a lot better. You're feeling a lot freer. You're feeling a lot more confident in what to do next, basically. So I don't know what area of your life this has to do with. You know, you know, with this kind of reading. So in terms of Zodiac signs, Capricorn, I have um, Aquarius and Leo. You really could be dealing with anybody though. So we're going to get an Oracle for you in terms of career and finance for the week. And then we'll get your love Oracle. So you have anchor, money blocks, being stuck, financially sound, travel, stable for now. Yeah, so that may have been some of your um, issues here. Some of you may have been like, I should have made better decisions in purchasing things, maybe things along those lines, right? Hiring people, um, starting businesses, doing that. So you definitely may have felt like your money has been blocked for quite some time. And your next card is pendulum. Yeah, fluctuating income indecision, new strategy. There you go. Oh my gosh, I can't make this up. Seasonal job, job chains, making choices. Wow. So you're really figuring out a different way to do something, possibly financially, and it's definitely bringing you a new strategy to make better choices, hire better people, invest in better things, um, 
make better decisions of where you're working, who you're working for, whatever the case may be. Something that was bothering you financially is definitely looking up here. And we have the hand manifesting money, reaching goals, financial assistance. So somebody may be assisting you or you may just be reaching that goal of getting out of the indecision, right? That's what you're doing this week, basically. Hands-on work. You may do something that's hands-on and you're help getting jobs. Yeah, more jobs, more clients, more people. You're definitely feeling that sense of um, things feeling more stable, money-wise as well. So let's see what's going on in your love life here, Capricorn. We're going to get some Mystic Moon Oracle. This is for Capricorn for the week of the 21st to the 27th. The 21st to the 27th for Capricorn. We have Unawakened. Definitely may have been feeling that way in your love life. I've been making the wrong decisions, choosing the wrong people, making the wrong choices, saying the wrong things. Whatever the case may be, we have vibrations. There you go. You're stepping out of that Capricorn. And you're finally vibrating at the level of confidence in what you're doing, what you're saying, who you're pursuing, where you're going, what you want to do, ascending. Beautiful. So a lot of you, your love life felt blocked as well. And you are very indecisive in love too. But you are figuring something out here and you're ascending beautifully. Let's clarify this for um, Capricorn once more for the week. So on Unawakened, we have Deception. There you go. We're entrusting yourself. Maybe you weren't trusting this person. Maybe there was trust issues between the two of you. Or there was just like you weren't trusting that you were making the choices that you were wanting to make for certain outcomes. There's something about that very strongly. Vibrations to divine timing and ascending to big dreams. Beautiful. So you're definitely realizing that um, things are getting better for you or things are just getting better for you. So your um, relationship could be ascending. You could be meeting new people and you're ascending. Or you may just find yourself in a certain position in your love life now where you're kind of like, I'm going to make better decisions or I'm going to trust myself to make better decisions or I'm going to do this or I'm going to do that. There's something around that here. Let's see um, a vibrations to divine timing for Capricorn. Settling. Yeah, you're no longer settling in the fear. Your love life is definitely transforming in whatever sort of way you are dealing with love. And it's starting within you. Like you're doing something specifically where either maybe you were not trusting yourself. You weren't trusting other people. There was trust issues here. Whatever the case may be, you're coming to the realization of what you should do to vibrate higher enhance your love life or enhance a certain relationship here and something is becoming like luckier for you here interesting capricorn um and i do want to indicate here you do have the sun here ascending does have a sun ascending into it from the clarification of the big dreams which is a moon so the moon to the sun it's like things are becoming clear you're understanding things now or Something's happening here. That's what I have here for you, Capricorn. Beautiful reading. Um, this is uh, for the 21st to the 27th. But do keep in mind, time is fluid. You may already be experiencing this energy or rolling through something similar to this. Um, but do keep this in mind. Thank you, my beautiful Capricorns. I will see and talk to all of y'all very soon. Bye now.